All right, folks. So I was contacted by TID Radio, and they said, Hey, Ape, how would you like to try out our Bluetooth programming module for Balfang Radios? And I said, Yeah, go ahead and send it over. I'd love to check it out. So they sent me this device free of charge in exchange for this video review. What you do is you connect it to your Balfang, and we'll take a look at how to do that. And then you can program your radio with an Android tablet, with an Android phone, with an iPhone, or an iPad. It does come with this USB cable. And I think this is a micro USB or a mini USB, I can't remember. But you use that to charge this device. And let's see if I can get it open. But there is a charging port here. You do not have to have the cable. Well, that thing is in there, isn't it? All right, so here it is. I was able to get it open. And then you can see the port that you use to charge this device. You do not have to have this USB cable in order to program your radio, but you do need to have this charged. It also has a power button here that you turn on. So when you go ahead and you do this, what I was doing is I was leaving everything off, and then I would just go ahead and plug this into the port on the side of my radio. Now we're going to take a look at the different radios that are supported by this device. Then I would turn this on. And then I would turn that on. We're going to take a look at the different radios that are supported by this device. But I tested it on this Balfang GT5R, which is a UV5R variant produced or sold by Radio Oddity. I tested it on this UV5RE, which again is another Balfang UV5R variant. And it worked for both of these radios. And then I also tested it on this UV5R5, again a UV5R variant. And it worked fine on this radio as well. And at first I thought, you know, do I really need something like this? But uh, it worked surprisingly well and it was easy. So I'm pretty happy that uh, I have it and I uh, think it'll be part of my daily kit, if that makes any sense. It also comes with this user manual. So you have to install an app called OD Master. Uh, I think that's how you say it. And um, this has instructions for how to use the app, how to connect everything to your radio, and how to do everything. Uh, I will say that with the app, you do have to create an account with OD Master, um, which I wish you didn't have to. And it looks like the app does things other than just program the radio. Like there's like a social media aspect to the app. I did not fool with that. So we're only going to take a look at programming the radio because that's all that uh, I'm interested in. And I think that that is what uh, most people would be interested in. There is also a web page that you can do the same kind of thing. Um, so you don't have to use the app. You could use the website. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So here is an Amazon site, and I will have a link below where you can pick up this device. But uh, you can see that it is $22.99. Fast free shipping with Amazon Prime. Free returns. And when you take a look at it here, you can see how it connects and it has some of the different radios. Here is some other information, nothing exciting. Here is the support for the different available models. And you can see for Balfang, for TDI Radio, for 10-Way Radio Oddity, Redivis, and others. And uh, as I was able to find out, uh, UV5R variants seem to be uh, supported by this because I didn't try any of the ones that they listed here, but I was able to get it to work with three different radios. There's some more information here. I'm not going to go all through this because if you're interested, you can come here and you can take a look for yourself. I did want to show the app. This is the app store. So I installed this on an iPhone, but uh, as mentioned, you can also install it on Android or use the web interface. And I'll include this link below so you can come here and you can take a look at it. And there's just some more information here. Some other ham type apps that you can take a look at, but I just wanted to share this with everybody. So this is me running the app for the first time on my iPhone. And you see I have to agree to a third-party agreement. Here I want to go to the Register tab, and that way I can register my account. Creating the account is easy. I just put in an email address, and then I enter and confirm a password. And I'm going to skip ahead so you don't see my password. After registering, it looks like I have some more setup to do. Here, it assumes that I have a binary gender. I'm going to go ahead and pick male and hit next. And here it asks for a date of birth. I don't think they really need this, so we're just going to make one up. 
And that works just as well as if I put a real one in there. I click next and it asks me if I want a reminder of my mailbox subscription and I hit subscribe. So here's where it has friends and recommended friends and channels and all of that. I don't really use that. I'm going to just go over to the program option on here and then I'm going to use that. So when I click on program, it pops up and says OD master wants to use Bluetooth. And I guess I have to let it. At first, it has these guided tours that walk you through using the interface. I find that pretty handy at first, but it grows tiresome, so you can turn it off at any time that you want. So when I connect to the radio and I click connect Bluetooth, and that is the MAC address for the interface, and I turn that on. So now I'm connected. I want to select model, I pick Balfang, and I go to UV5R. Next, I want to read from the radio. And when I click that, I get this progress bar letting me know the progress. Let's cut to a scene where I show what happens on the radio. So here is everything connected, and I am going to read from the radio. You can see the radio goes into a rapid transmission cycle and the green light on the interface blinks. Once this is done, the Baofeng will reboot itself. And you can see that just took place. Back to the app interface as this finished reading from the radio. So I can take a look at different channels and I can switch my channel. I have to go through that same guided tour real quick or I can switch over to the function tab. And then once on the function tab, I can take a look at basically any setting the radio has, more so than you can do with the front panel. So let's take a look at that now. I can modify A and B bands. I can change my power. I can change TX and RX settings, I can adjust frequency steps, and offsets. I can change DTMF tones, I can change squelch level, I can turn on box, I can adjust my timeout timer. As I said, anything that you'd want to change on the radio with the traditional programming software you can do with this software. What I like about this is, is that you can take your programmed radio out into a field or on a trip or on an adventure, and then you can make slight modifications quickly and easily with this particular tool. On the channel tab, I can modify any of the parameters for the 128 channels that the Baofeng supports. I can change frequency, I can change power settings, I can change the name of the channel, I can add or remove from scan lists. Once I'm done making any modifications, I go ahead and click the right button below and it writes to my radio. Let's go ahead and we will cut to a clip where I show what happens when you write to the radio. Now I am going to write to the radio and then you can see how the radio behaves. This time you get a rapid receive on the radio and the green light on the interface blinks rapidly as well. And the radio reboots and you're good to go. I would turn off the radio before disconnecting the TID radio BL1 interface. Once your write is complete, you will get a successful message. And then you're done. Time to go use your radio. All right, folks. So at $22.99, you'll have to make a decision if this is right for you or if this is something you want to add to your kit or go bag. I like it. I find it pretty convenient. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. And I want to give a big thanks to TID Radio for sending me this item for my consideration. Thanks, everybody.